What's up guys, Laidback Gaming here, bringing you the 7th episode of Halo Reach Racetracks. This first map is called Rocket Science, and it's made by a ugly Mormon girl and Cookie. Um, you might not know who these two are, they're, they're, they're pretty fairly unknown, uh, but as you can see by the review, it's a pretty decent map, it looks really good. Uh, there's a couple of little aesthetics that I like, I like the uh, rocket ship they put in there. And uh, from afar off, it really doesn't look as long as it is, or as big as it is, but uh, it's, a lot, it's a lot bigger than it appears uh, through the overview. And I really enjoyed this map, and I'm glad I definitely got to put uh, some unknown forgers into this episode. I really loved this map when I saw it, you know, it was something simple, it wasn't anything, you know, uh, just so unique and like yeah, I mean it wasn't anything like completely different but I really enjoyed it and I thought it was a really good map and definitely deserved to be in this episode um, so it's 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 not a long track it's uh, fairly short um, and they kind of mix it up a little bit you got a little bit of MX here and this has got to be the coolest part right here where you get a shield door that I guess those mongoose just kind of hit each other wrong but you get that shield door and you go straight down that straight rock um, I never knew that rock was there and I never would have thought about putting that into a track and adding that to a track so uh, congrats to him. Uh, I, I give him props for you know being able to find that and actually using that in the track. I thought that was really cool um, that they used that. I've never I never would have thought about using that. That was probably the coolest thing I thought about the track, and they you know did pretty well with some of the wow aesthetics uh, such as the cave that we just went through and stuff like that. So they get it. They, they both did a really good job on this. So uh, be sure to go download it. Uh, the download link will be in the description for this as well as this map coming up right here. Um, and this map, um, of course, you can probably see from the way the, the track looks from the overview. Uh, this track is called Rainbow Road, and it's made by V Ionized and Master Hippie. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard of them too. Uh, they're very, uh, they're they're pretty well known. Uh, Master Hippie not as much, but V Ionized is definitely well known. Um, and if you don't know what Rainbow Road is, it's actually a racetrack in um, Mario Kart. If you've ever played Mario Kart, uh, I'm I mean, I've, I won't lie, I've played it. It's a great game. Uh, have you ever played Mario Kart? This is a track in Mario Kart, and this is like just kind of like a slight little remake, remake of it. Oh, and by the way, guys, this is not like used with a race game type. But you can use it with a race game type, although if you use it with a race game type, you don't get all the colors and stuff. Um, if you want to play it with all these colors in it and everything, uh, then there's a certain game type called Rainbow Road that goes with it. I will have both the game type and the download link to the map in the description. You can go check both of those out and download both of them. Uh, the colors are awesome. You know they did a really good job. You know putting all these colors on the track that was really cool. And then of course you get this huge jump across the whole map uh, right here, a really big jump. And um, so it's not the longest map. Again, uh, these both these maps are fairly short, uh, but it's still uh, still very enjoyable and really cool the way they uh, did all these colors and stuff. I really thought that was cool, and I love how people split the track up like they did here. Um, I've always loved people splitting tracks up like that. Um, mostly you see that in roller coasters, but I'm glad to see that uh, done in a double wide track. Um, it's a really cool feature that I've always really enjoyed and stuff. And oh, by the way, guys, if you saw, if you heard the new beat at the beginning, usually I use dubstep. Stub, dubstep. Wow, I cannot talk today. Uh, usually I use dubstep at the beginning, and I did again this time, but it was a different beat than uh, you usually hear. And that's because it was made by a friend of mine. If you, if any of you remember who I Forger is, um, he actually has a dubstep channel now, um, and it's called like. Fit, I really can't pronounce it. I'm not going to try because I'm going to sound like an idiot. But anyway, um, he makes all kinds of dubstep sounds, and he's going to make this. He's gonna, I'm going to start using this for the beginning of the Halo Reach Racetracks episode. That I'm going to start using that dubstep song, and I'm also going to be using another one that he's going to make for me for the Halo Reach Forge Maps episode. Uh, so definitely go subscribe to him. Uh, there's going to be a link to, in the description to go uh, to, straight to his channel, so you can go check out all his uh, beats that he's made and stuff, and definitely subscribe to him. He's also going to be in my channel box as well. Uh, it's just You'll see a, a channel that says something dubstep in it, and you can go check that out as well. So be sure to subscribe to him. Um, I'm really glad that he got to make this beat for me and everything. So again, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please like and favorite the video. It really does help a lot. Um, so be sure to like and favorite. Also, if you like this, don't you know? Please go to my channel and uh, check out the other episodes and stuff, along with along with the Forge Maps episode and everything like that. So again, guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching.